Hello and welcome to another episode of Equestrian the Game. We are continuing on from before when we had our new little fjord and the update and everything. So right now I'm just claiming my re daily rewards. And first things first. Okay, so let's check out the new horses. Because we did do a little bit of a, a name request and we have the names in for the new horses. So first thing we're going to do is name the horses your names. Alrighty, so, okay, I have to say that there is a little bit of a change to Mare 1. She is still a chestnut, but I did find a mare that I liked a little bit more. But we'll come to her after we've done Mare 2 and 3, who are in this stable block. So let's go to Mare 2 first, and the name for her is going to be Popcorn, and that is from Christine. I will insert all of your names in there. So we have to go to Edit, Rename, and this one is um, Popcorn. Yay, thank you so much for the names. Oh, it really helped me so much. Okay, so Popcorn is done. Now we move on to Mare 3, and the name for Mare 3 will be Aria from Monica. Thank you so much. So again, we have to go to rename, and then it's Aria. We're getting there. All the horses will get names today. So then we come back, and we will go to the third stable block. Okay, okay, I've kind of spoiled the surprise here. You guys can see what's in this stable vlog. You know what might be coming, but let's continue on in order. So, uh, Mare 3, let's skip past this one. Oh my god, you saw it. Okay. So, this is the new Mare 1. And she was a chestnut before, but I liked this chestnut a lot more. There's just something about her markings and everything that I really liked. So she has been kind of changed a little bit, but she's still a chestnut. And her name will be Brandy, and that is from Shannon. Shannon Laffin, so thank you so much. Shannon for the name. I think that suits her a lot. Okay, so the fjords. Now let's just whoop, skip past this one. That's coming in a bit. Alexander needed a name. And the name that came up for this fjord, who is a male, Pumpkin from Adil. Thank you very much for the name, Adil. What do I do? Okay, rename Pumpkin. Yes, okay, so. Right, there are two new little fjords in my stables, okay. Little Lottie here, who is tiny, and she actually qualifies for the pony jumping. And then we have one that's slightly bigger, but she also is classed as a pony. And she's, um, yeah, a little bit taller, but she's, again, another little mare. And she has no markings on her face, but if we go to this one, the game will let me. There we go. Uh, Lottie actually does have a little star on her head and you can see that when she has her tack on and none of the other fjords that I have have this little star so she's so cute. What I decided to do is take some of the names from other people that suggested names that didn't make it onto Mare, two, Mare 1, 2 and 3 and the original fjord male and so Mare Number one will be called Safi, and that is from Kawaii Peaches to Roblox. So let's come out of the tack bit and do her name, which will be Safi. So thank you very much. And then, did that actually change the name? Yes, I did do it. Okay, and then we will go to Mare 3 over here. Mare 2, rather. All these mares that needed naming. I'm getting all confused with my mares. And this one will be Willow, and that's from Ryan Ackerman. So thank you very much for all of these names. It helped me out tremendously. So that is all the names, thank you so much again, um, brilliant. All these names I think suit the horses so much and 
they're just looking really cute in all the stables. I absolutely adore them. Now, I may not keep both of these mares long term. I do normally like to just have one pony, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to see which one is better, Safi or Willow, and probably keep that one. Although, I do prefer how Safi looks because she's got her little star that um, Willow doesn't have. But you never know, I might fall in love with both of them and keep both of them. Who knows? I did notice one thing though guys, I did notice in the horse's achievement something that I never really looked at before. If we go to um, probably my best horse, Mambo here, I never really looked at these tabs at the top here, so here you actually have like a list of all of their achievements and I thought that was really cool because I'd never really looked at this before and kind of overlooked it. And I think it's something that's quite interesting and it makes me think, oh okay, I want to go through all of the competitions on um, all of my horses now and try and get all these achievements for them. And then here it's got like their best sort of level season Mambo, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, this is like their highest level, I guess, which is Grand Prix for Mambo. Let's see what it is on Bellamy here. Yeah, see, he's still novice, so that is all that he got to with that. Poor old um, Bellamy, I do need to work on him, but he's going to be more of a dressage horse. Also, look at these guys' form. You might see that I've managed to move it from absolutely zero. The arrow was red and facing down, and now it's moved up. Do you want me to show you how to do this? Okay, so it used to be that um, you would compete with your horses in the jumping and then that would increase their form and you only had to do like two or three competitions and it would increase it and you'd be done. Now the system has changed. I couldn't get it to increase by going into the training, manual training and doing it. That did not work. I tried that. Competitions doesn't work. The only way that you can increase their form is this. And that is with the riding hall. So I'll show you how to do it. As you can see here, all of the forms are where they are at. If we go through and do... Okay, so he, he can only do it really this one. You only have to do it for 10 minutes. You can now, with the new patch, go up to 8 hours and then you can pay gold to um, immediately um, stop the training, like finish the training. But you only have to do 10 minutes and we'll see a little bit of an increase in form. See, he was the same as Mambo and now that's gone up. So I'm gonna have to do this with all of my horses here. And that will really help horses like Topaz who does have a skill which relies on form. But they did say in the Discord that they, at the moment, form only affects um, energy. So that's really good that they've kind of, they're doing a little re revamp on it, I do believe they said, so. That will be really helpful right now, seeing as a lot of people haven't been able to get form to work. I hope this does work for people that have been having problems with it, because I finally found a way to do it for me. And yeah, I really hope that it works for everybody doing it this way. And it is only a, once a day that you can do it. So you can only increase their form by these little segments increments rather like once a day and you probably would want to maintain it as well um, so let's just go through and do these and they are only moving up a little tiny bit but it is really worth doing every day just going through and putting the training on so I'm just gonna go through and do as many horses as I can okay so I'll have to do Willow later because um, I've got too many horses basically so oh as we've only got Willow available, let's take Willow out for a little bit of a jump. All of the horses there, all doing their training. Lovely. Right. So, up here you can see that I have two horses available for the pony jumping. So we're going to go and do a little bit of jumping with Willow. I have managed to get them to intermediate and... Oh my gosh guys, the pony jumping is hard. It is really hard. Um, for some reason it doesn't feel like ponies have that much clearance over jumps, they don't jump that high. 
and I don't know whether it's just me, my skill, or whether it's something to do with the game, but it's really hard to progress with clear rounds with ponies. And I have to say, the other courses, the normal sort of courses, I've been having trouble with that as well. I've had to clear some of them literally going at a speed of one over some of the jumps and it's been actually really challenging for me and the courses are great. I've really been enjoying the courses but it's been quite a challenge to get clear rounds especially because before it was quite easy um, with the speed that you could control by holding down the button but now you can't do that so now it's a, a lot more challenging to get those clear rounds and within the time because you're going so slow to make sure that you clear the jumps. But yeah, I will show you Willow attempting a course. Alright, so I'm probably going to be knocking down um, a lot of courses. I got a carrot, yay! Probably going to be knocking down a lot of these, but we're going to try our best. Oh god. So with Willow, her basically she's cool tempered, so it means that she will slow down a lot out of her, her own accord. So it's really hard to sometimes keep them in that first speed. So I basically fluffed it now. She's got too many pennies, this won't progress the round, so I thought I would just like tell you that. So what I've been finding is I've been having to go through courses at a kind of steady, really steady, careful pace and I'm having to jump jumps literally at a speed of one to be able to get over the jumps and not knock them down. And with horses that are cool tempered that slow down, it can be really hard because they keep going into a trot and then you can't jump over the jumps. So that's pretty much what happened there. Okay, so all of the horses have had their training completed. I'm just gonna put little Willow on. Oh, she's hungry, she needs a carrot. Okay. She might just have to wait until later. What I wanted to do is do a little bit of jumping and show you some of the courses that I've got up to. It has been hard. Some of them I've had to go at a really, really slow pace round the course in order to not knock down any poles and I will show you some of these courses. Now, well done to the people who um, designed these, they're amazing. Also, the bug is still here that you only get the rosette for um, your first attempt and you can't then upgrade it. Like, you know, say I, my first attempt I got one rosette and then I managed to get three rosettes on the second or third or whatever attempt I kept working at it. It will only like record the first rosette. I don't know if that's intended, but that's what it is. So, and because these are actually quite hard, like I've only been able to get like one rosette on these ones and some of the others I managed to get like three and stuff, but it hasn't been easy. Let me show you this Grand Prix qualifier. I will be a bit quiet because I will be concentrating. 
I don't know which horse is the best really around here. I'm probably going to try Mambo, but you will see the amount of focus that I need to go around this course is crazy. Okay, here we go. I'll probably be quiet as usual because I'm focusing and using all my hands and um, these courses are demanding. Look at this. Look at these ones up here. Like you have to go like through all this and there are uh, multiple jumps all in this little area. Well done to the person who um, created this course. I think we'll be able to see at the end like who it was because they are actually like player made courses. They do little competitions and then they implement them into the game, which is really cool. And yeah, it does mean that they are always bringing out new courses in the new seasons as well. So, let's go, let's try it. Alright, Mambo, we can do it. Alright, so as you saw there, he sped away with me a couple of times, and those are the times where the poles got knocked down. So what I think you could do is you can change the feed up and feed them something. So let's try feeding him something that might help. Oh, I've unlocked a t-shirt! Yay, I might go put that on as well. Let's do that. Yeah, I, I've been finding it really difficult, especially now that you can't control their speeds. Um, when they go away with you like that, and it's in between a lot of jumps in a row, and they're speeding up and you don't have time to slow them down, like, it's really hard. And I just really hope that feeding him something will help with this. So let's first put on my new t-shirt. In my office. New t-shirt, so it'll be here. Uh, is it this one? Ooh, it's brown. Okay, uh, probably need new joggers. Okay, cool. Let's just go with that. And then hat. Did I get a new hat? I think I did. I think it was this one. Uh, I'll probably just keep... I'll probably just keep, like, the black one on for now until I get, like, the hat at the end. But, okay, let's go with that. And then we're going to try and feed Mambo something. Let's test it and see if I can feed him something that will control his speed. Alright Mambo, let's have a look. Alright, so feed is here. I keep getting carrots, this is good. Um, I probably will give him one of those. And right. Mentality, here. Temperament, up. No. Temperament down. Yes, that's what I need, right? Temperament down? 
So, poison composter, temperament down. And I do have one of these. Ooh. I think. Let's do it by this. This is like three and this is two. So, I think I'm going to give him this one. Cool him down a bit. Let's see if this helps. See, the thing is, is that I do prefer the warm temp tempered horses because I don't like it when they keep slowing down on you all the time and then you accidentally keep going into trots, which happens on my pony that you saw there. But at the same time, when they speed away with you and you're going over these um, multiple jumps in a row, you have no time to bring that back down again, especially if they go crazy. So, uh, yeah, it's just really got really hard since you can't maintain one speed by holding one button. Honestly. It's got a lot harder for me anyway. I don't know what you guys think. Anyone that's been playing it um, and knew about that way of maintaining speed before and how it is now. Alright, Memo, let's do it. Oh my god. Oh, I think we did it. Do you think that helped? I think that might have actually helped. I mean, there was a really wobbly bit and that was probably my fault because I was like getting really nervous, but I went really wobbly, but we managed to do it and we've now unlocked Grand Prix. So well done Mambo, my best horse, honestly. But I actually do think feeding him that did help. He didn't go so crazy. The bars didn't jump up so much that it was like uncontrollable. And it was just my bad riding that made me wobble on that jump in particular. But like, yeah. Okay, so Mambo. Well done, Mambo. My best horse. I don't care about times anymore at the moment because it's all... I'm not going to be able to, like, now improve this ribbon and get it to three ribbons on this because it's just be, like, locked at the one. So right now it's all about clear, clearing within the time and then I can unlock the next course, which is Grand Prix. So let's go. Let's try the first Grand Prix and then I think we should just go do something really chill like go on a trail ride, time trial or something. Okay so here we go, Grand Prix. And I'm just gonna do the first tier here and you know give it a shot, do my best, see what it looks like. Of course we are gonna use Mambo. Oh, it's very exciting. Let's have a little look before we go around. We can hide this and... Okay, so all, everything's kind of like spaced apart quite nicely. I can't see any like triple jumps or anything. They're all just pretty huge. I love the little windmills. 
Okay, I'm ready. Oh no! Okay, so that was a triple. Ooh, so we had one knockdown. Okay, and that was probably because we were going too fast. I have noticed um, with these new courses, if you aren't going really slow over them, you will knock down the pole. I only got bronze, and that's probably locked now on bronze. So what I would normally do is I would go through, get my clear round, and then I would want to then try and improve the time, and then get these better medals but I don't know if that's going to be possible but I will do that anyway like get a clear round unlock the next course and then try and like speed up my times for each of the um, courses but I'm really sad that we knocked down that one little jump there but well done Mambo for like that was our first time that was really fun so we get 250 for Grand Prix which is great and I think now let's go do something like fun I think my brain's fried Okay, let's go and go for a little trail ride. Who should we take? Now, Mambo who's kind of been the star of the day, but who should we take? Should we take Safi, one of our new horses? I think, yeah, let's take Safi and let's try some of the time trials in the new area. Alright, so we'll go and find a time trial and give it a go. I'm not sure how many are in the new area, I'm kind of thinking maybe three or four? But there's one straight here, so we'll do this one first. The area is so pretty. I think this is my favourite area that they've brought out yet, honestly. I love the kind of... the colours. Like, how the trees look and everything.
Are we gonna have to go over this bridge? No. Pretty sure I just saw a squirrel as well. Oh, and it is the sea as well. I think, I think in my last video I thought it was like a lake but it's actually the sea which is cool there's like a lighthouse and everything what am I doing I'm like distracted by this sea my time trial is ruined but yeah let's have a look here though is this board scaring her I thought what was really cool was look on here you can get fish and chips glog coffee and tea. I wish you could actually go in and get something to eat. I think this sign is scaring Safi. Oh there's a notice board there. I should probably read that at some point as well. I kind of want to find the um, the jumping area around here and do a little bit of training with her. Ooh, there's a sign here. It should be able to tell us where to go. Uh, practice area. This. little ponies the, the jump is so tiny okay so here is the practice area guys this is where we do a little bit of training in here so let's do a little bit of training just jumping You see how they like barely make it over the jumps like if that was a jump in a competition like that would not be cleared it would be knocked down look at the feet okay that one probably would have cleared that one probably would have been knocked down that one definitely would have been knocked down And that one. <laughs> yeah, they probably just need to work on uh, ponies jumping clearance because they can't jump very high at all. Oh, I think she's really worn out now. <laughs> the head's hanging low. Let's look at her energy. Oh yeah, it's pretty low. So I'm probably going to take her back to the stable and I will keep working on those new jumps to show you guys. What I'll probably do is go through all of them in each of the tiers so you can see what they all look like. Um, but yeah, so if I showed you me trying to work at them each and every course, oh gosh, we'd be here for hours. But I think that's it for today. So thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.